Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of Yasharallah. Call Haloyim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakwadash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth, so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwathas, keeping the faith in the works, y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. <coughs> End time prophecy. A time that me and my brethren and you sisters out there that's in the faith and that's keeping it in works, in truth, and sincerity. This is one that we really looking forward to. This is Isaiah 14 and 1. It says, For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. This is speaking about us taking over. All of the good the good work paying off because the Most High said he rewards those that do what he says to do. And this is a part of that reward. This is speaking about us becoming a nation again. This is Israel coming back together. The house. Right? The third temple. We back. And everybody knows it, right? So, this is the blue letter. I'm going to that word, strangers. Strong's H, 1616. Guard. Guard. And the form just below that, gear, gear. So gar or gear says, outline of biblical usage, sojourner, a temporary inhabitant, a newcomer lacking inherited rights. All right, temporary inhabitant, newcomer, Lacking inherited rights. Be of foreigners in Yasharala. Though conceded rights. So foreigners in Yasharala. Though conceded rights. Let's see what that. Let's see passage wise. What does that um, tell us? All right, I'm going to I'm view the entire entry. All right, straight to the point. Um, it says a sojourner. See the root number one. It says a sojourner, a strange or stranger, foreigner, a person living out of his own country. All right, so like, uh, I don't know, a Ephraimite living in the land of Judah, or uh, Puerto Ricans living with or amongst so-called blacks, right? Or Frenchmen living in France away from their brethren that's in uh, so-called you know, the U.S., right? But it says a sojourner, stranger, foreigner, a person living out of his own country, all right? So let's go to these scripts. All right. I'm going to stay right here, but I'm going I'm to read them off from my um, other Bible. 
This phone be tripping. I'm sure you understand. So Genesis 15 and 13. It says, And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. All right? That's speaking about Yasharala. In fact, that's speaking about Yasharala and Mizraim. The situation known as Egypt. All right. Let's see. Exodus 2 and 22. Uh, Exodus 2, 22 says, well, I'm going to start at 21. It says, and Masha, which is Moses, was content to dwell with the man. And he gave Masha Zipporah, his daughter, and she bare him a son, and he called his name Gershom, for he said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. All right? Speaking about the Israelite, Masha, being somewhere else other than Yasharala. Or Yarashalom. Right? Or Jerusalem in Israel. The land of. Right? Let's see. Exodus 18 and 3. Exodus 18 and 3. It says. Well, let me start at 2. My family, I'm going to start from the top. It says, when Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God or power had done for Moses and for Israel, his people, right, and that Yahweh had brought Israel out of Egypt. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, or Moses' father-in-law, took Zipporah, Moses' wife, after he had sent her back and her two sons of which the name of the one was Gershom for he said I have been an alien in a strange land these Israelites are elsewhere other than the house and this is we, we still on Isaiah 14 and 1 alright this speaking about us coming back together and being a nation again, man. And being recognized worldwide. Ain't no more nigga. Ain't no more black. Ain't no more spick. Ain't no more wet back. Ain't no more Mexican. Ain't no more Puerto Rican. Ain't no more Jamaican. Ain't no more minority. Ain't no more hood. Ain't no more poverty. No more oppression. It's over with. It's a wrap. Now, I'm going to read. It's a lot. Let me see. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Yasharala shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right. Let's see what. Let's see if we can get what. Let's just go in here and see what's up. Let's see. To go in into to go in into calm, go come in. I think they're speaking about take. 
to lead, to be brought. Just, just seeing, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing. Mark on. Standing. Place. Place city. All right. Okay, there it is. So the them has no choice but to be the other nations. And the reason why is because of Isaiah chapter 60. Precept upon precept. Through our precepts, I get understanding, man. Right? The other precepts that speak on who are these other nations that's going to be serving us. Obadiah, the nation that's going to serve, then get destroyed. <laughs> right? So, Isaiah 14, man. Hey, man, that's why, that's another reason why we are down them highways, them highways and hedges, bringing that thing, bringing that word out to the people. Right? The ones that have ears to hear. And eyes to see. And the ones that do not, y'all out there for a purpose as well. All right? So long. Let me see. Yeah, the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, and verse 18. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the transgressor for the upright. We all know who the wicked is according to the scripts, right? According to Malachi, chapter 1, right? According to Job 9, 24, we know who the wicked are. But that transgressor, you know, that's a sinner. Who was given the law? Yasharala. Who is promised to uh, be slaughtered? Right? Up to the two-thirds. Right? So at the end of the day, appreciate your sacrifice. Those of us that operate in the spirit of truth and sincerity, man. Hey, man. This place is done. It's a wrap. It, it, it's over with and with that we all understand the times that we're in I mean keep that faith and keep that work alright most high willing these precepts in this video are edifying call hello I'm Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Harakakudash Shalom Yahshallah